hey there everybody it's Lori McLean back with another check-in if you will during this um somewhat uncertain time in our world I guess the only thing that is certain is that we need to stay at home and stay inside now I know for many warriors out there like myself um that's this is not new <laughs> in terms of not leaving our homes a lot um, there are many of you I know out there who just self-isolate because you don't feel well and you don't feel like going out or seeing people. So this is nothing new to you, but that doesn't make it any easier. I know that. And all I can tell you is that by staying at home, that's the only way that we can ensure that this virus stops spreading. I realize that not everyone can stay at home inevitably. Um, not everyone can avoid going out for things. Um, I have had to go out a couple of times um, just to get necessities. You know, my wife and I, we go out together because it cuts down on, on the amount of time that we have to be out if we both go do groceries. And really, that's only been like maybe every two to three weeks that we've been going out to do grab those things we wait until you know our essentials basically are, are running low and we need to get more um remember that there is places that do deliver groceries that do deliver meds um i know my pharmacy delivers meds so i have you know taken advantage of that um a couple of times which has been great, huge help. Um, and yeah, because we need our meds, of course. But what I'm finding is that these days at home, um, it's hard to get motivated to do things because, you know, it's, we know that tomorrow will be another isolation day. The day after that will be another isolation day. We know that we are looking at this being, you know, at least a few more weeks. Um, we really don't know when it will be safe again. I think it'll be a very, very, very long time before we resume anything that looks like normalcy. So what I'm finding for myself is that it is difficult to, to stay motivated to do things, if that makes sense. Tomorrow is another day just like today and so forth and so on. So finding things to do that spark my interest. I know like the first couple of weeks of this self-isolation uh, and, and social distancing, my wife was cleaning like crazy. She's cleaned everything multiple times because that's how she feels safe. Um, I have done cupboards or we've done closets rather, dressers, you know, it's all that kind of stuff. The, very much as well, just the usual spring cleaning type of thing. Um, but as I said, there's other things that we could do. Uh, we talked about moving my office, which is over there. Um, moving it back into the spare bedroom, which is where it was. Um, but, you know, there's, there's all kinds of time for that. So anyway just thinking of those things but I'm wondering how you all are doing out there I think right now it is so important to to have this community this online community because that's how we stay connected so let me know in the comments below what you are doing what you are doing not only to fill your time are you still working are you in the essential category and if you are Thank you, thank you, thank you for what you do. I can't add enough thank yous to that. I heard the other day, uh, one of the celebrities said, movie stars, music stars, television stars, they are no longer the, the celebrities of the world. It is doctors, nurses, you know, our first responders out there, truck drivers farmers all of these people who without them our world would not go on so thank you thank you thank you if you are one of those people out there that is 
like I say, an essential worker and working still. For those of you out there who have lost your jobs due to COVID-19, my heart goes out to you. My thoughts are with you constantly. I hope that wherever you are in this world, that your government is in a position to be able to help you. I know here in Canada, there's been lots of government aid, you know, rolled out. I think one of the things that is becoming most apparent is how much family and friends mean at this time. Stay in contact with those people. Use FaceTime, use Skype, use Facebook Messenger to get together and, and speak with those people, you know, plan a coffee time. Um, there is an app called Zoom, which allows you to speak with multiple people all at once, like a group chat, but for video. So I will put the link to that below. Uh, I found out about another app the other day called Marco Polo, which I've seen it described as walkie talkies with video. Um, it's great. Uh, we use it with our daughter in California and it's, it's, it's fun. It's cool. It's yeah. It's so Marco Polo is the name of that app. I'll put the link for that one in the description below as well. And anything else, you know, that I, I think of, um, I'll put in the description below. Um, I had seen the other day online where a family had challenged uh, another family that they knew to a game of charades via Skype. So right now we need to be a little creative about how we stay in contact with people. You know, if, if you get together with a group of, of people once a week, twice, you know, every two weeks, whatever, for book club, keep doing that. But as I say, use Zoom um, and you all, you all can, can video chat all at once. There's just, as I say, there, we're lucky that we live in a time, and I know that sounds kind of silly to say that we're lucky, but it's true. If this, if this is going to happen, we are lucky that we have technology and that we have so many ways to stay in contact. So it's really, really important. And as you know, we watch those numbers every day as to how many are affected and how many have passed because of coronavirus. I think it's really, really important to stay connected to the positive during this time. Don't focus solely on the number of deaths. Look up and look at the number recovered from the virus. That is what we need to do. Also, you know, if there's people on Instagram, Facebook that kind of keep things a little lighthearted. You know, we are so inundated with news right now and constant, just in our face, in our face, in our face about COVID-19 and, you know, the things that we should and shouldn't be doing. And, you know, if you need to take a break from social media for a while, you know, even if it's only for a day, a day or two, take a break from the news. I can guarantee that if something really big was going down, someone would contact you via phone or, you know, via text. But I think it's important that we don't just flood our minds with the negative because as people with chronic pain, and for those of you like me with rheumatoid arthritis, we know what stress does to us. So. Take that into consideration. One of the uh, one of the, the people, I guess I could say that that I have absolutely fallen in love with, and make sure I check out these videos every day, is the most adorable little miniature schnauzer, and her name is Pluto. You may have seen her, as she says, zooming around the socials. Um, her and her mom put these videos together, where Pluto just gives really great reminders every day and tips and wisdom and it's it's great it's good as i said good for the soul so i'll put the link to um pluto's instagram and her uh facebook and youtube i'm gonna put the links to all that below here as well it's just so important as i said to, to try and remember to find the good still in the world and to pass along something that pluto said 
few days ago, you can't catch COVID-19 by looking in someone's eyes. I noticed the other day when I was out that we're all trying to stay away from each other when we're in you know, a, a grocery store. And by trying to stay away from each other, I noticed the other thing that people were doing was putting their heads down and not looking at each other. And I tried a couple of times to grab a hold of people's gaze, look them in the eye and just smile because I think it's just important to not lose humanity and the things that make us human when you go out, if you go out to do those, you know, into the grocery stores, into your pharmacy, wherever you might have to go. Just remember that when you're stop sidestepping around people, just remember to look them in the eye. Stay at home first and foremost. Wash and sanitize your hands. Do not touch your face. When we do go out to get a few things, I always walk with my hands in my pockets now because I'm also someone who likes to touch things. I see with my hands. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. When we go out to get what we need, we get out, we get what we need, and we get home. It's quick in, quick out. There's some tips for everybody. Hope you all are doing fine. Hope you all are doing amazing. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying healthy. And I hope this video, as well as my other ones, help you. Leave a comment below, as I said. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know how you're passing these days of self-isolation and social distancing. Everybody take care. I love you. And I will see you next week. Bye for now. What can I do to make you think?